Hi guys and welcome to today's video and it's actually going to be a bit of an experiment. Using this clay and also some tools and paint I am going to find out how many clay pandas I can make in one hour. So let's get started! I'm starting off with this white clay because the black clay tends to stain my hands a bit and I am using it to create a head and a body for a panda. And I'm spending some extra time on this first one because I'm going to use it as a reference for all of the other ones. So I spent a minute doing that and then I quickly made a bunch more little panda bodies in the same size as the first one that I made. And once I had spent almost four minutes doing that, I did the same thing again, but with slightly bigger pieces. And this is obviously going to be the heads for the pandas. And I then began putting together the heads and the bodies. I think that this part of the process was so cute because they kind of look like tiny mushrooms. Oh, and by the way, the clay that I'm using for this project is actually a mixture of Fimo and Scalpy. I normally like Fimo better, but mixing in some Scalpy is going to make it a bit softer and easier to work with. So yeah, 11 minutes into the process, it is now time to start making the details. And this is the part that took the longest time. So I started off by making a bunch of black balls, and this is going to be the ears for the pandas. And I then put the ears on the bodies. And I made some more because I'm going to need lots of ears. So making the ears took a pretty long time, but now it is time to make the arms. And because the arms are going to be so tiny, I actually rolled out some clay first and I then cut out little pieces to make them more even. And I then carefully rolled the pieces into tiny teardrop shapes. And then I obviously put the arms on the pandas. And I then repeated that process two more times to give hands to all of the pandas. And once I was done with that, more than half of the time had passed. So I decided to actually stop the timer and bake the pandas. And then I could use paint to make the two black circles on their faces. And I also used a needle to give them a little nose and mouth. 
And this was probably the hardest part of it all because it takes a lot of concentration to make details that are that tiny. And then, with less than 20 minutes left, I used my dotting tool again to paint on two little feet on the pandas. I normally make the feet out of clay, but it looked pretty fine to actually just paint them on instead. And I then took some light pink paint to give the pandas cheeks. And then I took a needle and I carefully painted on little eyes on all of the pandas. And now with just 5 minutes left, I flipped the pandas over and I did this so that I could paint on little tails on them. And once I was done with the tail, I actually had three minutes left, so I used that time to correct any mistakes that I had made. Like painting over some mistakes and scraping off paint that ended up in places where they shouldn't be. So I kept on doing this until the very last minute, and then the hour was over. And the result is that I can make 31 pandas in one hour, which is quite a lot of pandas. And although some of them didn't turn out that well, most of them actually ended up looking pretty cute. And I also learned some things from this project, for example, how to paint on tiny details quickly but still get okay results. And to start with the lighter clay parts and end with the darker ones, like I did, is actually a pretty good tip. Because if you do it the other way around, you're gonna end up having to wash your hands all the time or your clay will get dirty. Uh, but yeah, this was all for today's video. As always, if you have any ideas for any other clay challenges or other videos, just let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Have an awesome day and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!